we're saying thank you for our miracle services for our services for your faithfulness you have kept us we're celebrating graduates in our midst celebrating your blessings of life we thank you for equipping us with your word Lord I thank you and say I live by the principles of the world take this thing serious take it very serious I will not tell you to do things that God didn't direct me I like you to say I live by the word my life is founded upon the word I reject every doctrine and every teaching that does not line up with the principles of the word hallelujah put it down I was sharing with I think there was a time we we're having a discussion please sit down we're having a discussion at home and I was saying something uh, I think we're talking about um, certain prophets around and their accuracy and all of these things uh, I think I was sharing we we're just sharing at home and I was saying my concern is not your degree of accuracy my concern is not how powerful you are hallelujah my concern is how much of the word of God you live by I've shared it here many times and I'll say it again that someone walks at you and says your name is Rotimi you served in Zamfara State people just kneel and say Jesus Christ now I'm not teaching you to be critical I'm teaching you to be matured so that you can discern spirits and not make yourself gullible to just anything Bible says the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy in other words every manifestation of the spirit in the kingdom should directly glorify Jesus Christ hallelujah Lord, I pray that your word will prevail over our minds. I pray that your word will truly, truly, truly change us. You are equipping us and bringing us back to the foundations of truth and the word. You are teaching us the principles that the ancient knew. I pray in the name of Jesus that even as we transit through our lives, you help us to make the word of God the standard for our lives. That we master your principles so much that the new age teachings and the doctrines of devils and demons will not kick us out of the things of God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I once studied a... I was just going through several things online. And I saw a teaching that gave the man who was teaching. And I know it was a scripture he took and he was teaching it very falsely. And he was making certain decrees that believers have the right to administer salvation to others. And I understand because the Bible says whoever sins you forgive is forgiven and all kinds of things. And what the person was teaching he was saying that God doesn't forgive anybody since he doesn't do anything. It is left for the believers to choose whether people will be saved or not. How do you like that? And it had scriptural backings. And many of us read and say, really? And so it gives room for perversion and living immoral lives and everything. And people say, I have realized that it's within my power to secure my salvation. Your majesty, I can't but bow. And I lay my all. 
before you now in royal robes that I don't deserve I live to serve your majesty how many of you are truly seeing growth in your spiritual life growth and maturity let me see your hands honestly that you're coming to a point where you know that when god sends you out of this system you can represent him that in the next 10 years when we hear about you we will hear that you're still living and walking around if that is not happening to you we are failing are you listening to me whether crowds come until people sit on the zinc if there is no transformation then we are failing and God has helped us to define success properly that success is not just about crowds coming or people falling and all of these things that is about the quality of transformation that if at any time God picks this lady and sends her into the system she will represent the kingdom with such power and grace if that happens we are truly successful are you listening to me if all that happens is that we celebrate numerical strength and increase and excellence and all of these things and there is no notable transformation that people are breaking free from the shackles of sin and satan and coming to a point where the word of god becomes the priority where people are experiencing the blessings the goodness the life the prosperity of the kingdom where people are being prepared and equipped to understand who they are and the principles of the kingdom if that is not happening then we are failing are you listening to me that's why we took our time to thank god for his faithfulness time is fast spent very quickly i'll be sharing tonight on a very powerful kingdom principle the creative power of the spoken word the creative power of the spoken word light is shining in the darkness jesus he is Lord. He is risen from the dead. He is Lord. Truly, light is shining in every darkness. Jesus, you are Lord. Hallelujah. The word of God is not just for many believers. We know the word of God to be an instrument. The Bible calls it the sword of the spirit. An instrument against Satan. You know, when Jesus came to tempt Satan, he said, it is written. It is written. And so many of us have come to know the word as an instrument against satan and so on and so forth but i need you to understand that the word of god is not just an instrument for victory against satan hallelujah that the word of god is god's agency for creation the word of god is god's tool for framing realities in this realm it's his principle hebrews chapter 11 very quickly Hebrews chapter 11. Thank you, Jesus. Through faith, we understand that the walls, the systems, were framed by what? The word of God. Follow me. Through faith, we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god it says so that the things which are seen 
were not made of things that do appear in other words our material realm came into being as a result of a spiritual technology from the supernatural world hallelujah and our understanding of that principle will equip us to create and to frame our world there are so many people who are waiting for God to create their future for them when you go to God in his sovereignty he grants you grace and revelation how many of you have prayed about a thing and the more you pray the more God sends you scriptures you want to see visions and all you see is scriptures and at the end of the prayer you feel very bad you know why because the light that comes in that word will help you and will equip you to be victorious and so the word of God is his creative agency Hebrews uh, Paul gives us a, the dynamics of the creation of the universe it says through faith we understand that the walls were what framed framed they had their physical structure by an activity that involved the word of God in other words the smallest unit of every material is not atoms it's not electrons neutrons and protons is the word of God hallelujah and something very interesting I watched a documentary some years ago and some scientists were trying to rewind the earth they were trying to backdate the earth to rewind it to two minutes or something so that they would see the formation and they succeeded I can't remember the name of the documentary very powerful documentary and they were even able to rewind the earth according to them to some seconds before whatever I don't know how they did it don't ask me but they said the only thing that the machines and all of this could interpret was heat and light that was all no atoms no electrons no nothing so forget about that big bang nonsense write it for your exams and pass and go but i'm telling you if you need to be victorious in this life you need to realize that mankind and creation were not a product of two big bangs that came no the direct definite operation of the word of god and that's what i want to teach us tonight hallelujah the bible makes us to understand that through faith we understand that the walls were framed that means your life will only be framed by the word of god are you listening to me the word of god is the creative tool of the father he uses his word to frame things give them friends and realities Genesis chapter 1, the Bible makes us to understand that in the beginning God created the heavens and the earth. Hallelujah. And it says, now the earth was dark, void, formless, and the spirit of God hovered around the face of the waters. Verse 3. It says, and God said. The Hebrew rendition is, God said, light be. He used the creative power of the word to call the things that were not as though they were. And he framed the recreated earth through the word of God. Hallelujah. There are so many believers who are just waiting for our jobs to recreate our lives. Or our certificates to recreate our lives. I need you to understand that your mouth is not just an instrument of eating food. That every time you take the word of God and put it in your mouth and you release it it's a technology in the realm of the spirit hallelujah it brings forth creative power everything you see in this auditorium is a product of god's creative power e and i today there was a day it was only in the bowels of the spirit the technology of the spirit brought it into existence and gave it frame are you listening to me this mic came as a product of the creative power of god's word 
your being here tonight was framed together by the creative power of God's word. I, do you believe what I'm teaching you? Because I need us to step out of this place and realize that as believers, it is within our power to create our future and not to sit down and allow things to try to create it. There are many of us that live our lives by chance. It's one song they used to sing and say, whatever will be, will be. No, 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 sir. It doesn't work for believers. It can work in your cartoon. It doesn't work for your life and destiny. So we need to come to a point where we realize that there is a provision, there is a principle that creates realities. The word of God. Hallelujah. So. When Jesus walked upon the earth, the Bible made us understand that he healed them with his word created all kinds of things called things that were not isn't it interesting hear me friends that when god calls you he doesn't give you any physical thing nothing hallelujah when god called abraham there's no record that animals fell from heaven three or four and he said all right now go ahead and just move isn't it interesting that the first seed God gives you in your life is not money or all of this is, is his word. And he believes that that word is able to translate. Ah, God. I read something about Jacob that scared me. I was, I've been studying what prosperity principle Jacob used that made the animals to reproduce themselves with dark colors by looking at a dark object. didn't give them anything just left a blessing spoke something that created a man's future and a man's destiny hallelujah there is nothing in this life that the word of god cannot give me hear me whatever the word cannot give you you can't get it if you ever get it it's a mirage run away from it any success that did not come by the word is only a mirage soon you will cry any lifting any promotion any increase that is not a byproduct of the word will not last and so as believers god gives us his word so that we are able to frame our future and frame our lives hallelujah for many believers we just stop at reading the word by his stripes i am healed he was made poor so that i'll become rich and all of that and we just read it and stop there i want you to know that there is more to the activity of the word of god than just reading it are you listening to me when you study the word of god and it stays in your spirit you take the word of god and put it upon the lips of faith and every time you begin to speak god's word can i tell you something until the word of god is spoken it cannot release the power and the potency that you need that's why many people have their bibles in their homes and they are still suffering as if jesus christ didn't die because we need to realize that is more than just looking at your bible that you must put the word of god first in your heart and then the word of god must be released you don't just speak the word to have faith it's god's principle of creation are you listening to me very very important the more you realize friends that the word of god is an instrument of creation to frame your reality the bible said through faith we understand that the walls were framed by the word of god so i take the word of god and begin to frame my health destiny are you listening to me i pick up god's word and I begin to make decrees under his anointing. I say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. According to God's word. I create a life of health. See. I've said it here. That the word of God does not just reveal your future. It can create one. 
Are you listening to me? That means when you look at a life that is not consistent with God's word, the word of God can change it. Powerful. Hallelujah. That you sit down and begin to frame your life with God's word. You begin to speak and declare and say in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I will never beg I will never sit running from hand to mouth. It doesn't matter what my background is. I understand that in the realm of the spirit, the spoken word has creative ability. The only thing that is permitted to go to your future before you is the words you send. And boy, if you send sufficient words to your future, you will find a beautiful future. There are so many people who step into their future and sit and say, ah, God is not fair what you are seeing today by the grace of god is the framework of years of speaking our tomorrow will reveal what we are speaking today are you listening to me it's a very simple but powerful teaching because there are so many believers that cry and lament over situations waiting for god to do something about it when god is telling you i have equipped you with the tools and the understanding to frame your reality you hear a report that is not supposed to be there are too many believers that give up and give in too quickly because we do not realize that within the believer given by God through the instrumentality of his word is the ability to change our situations. Can I tell you something? There are very few people who you see and admire today who had the best situations in their lives by default. People created it. Are you listening to me? If you look at someone's wealth and admire it, if he got it by the word of God, it was created. By the principle of God you speak that faith and then on this earth realm god begins to transfer it by the wisdom he gives you hallelujah many of us have allowed satan to take advantage of our lives and we have watched our lives not make any progress many of us have sat back to watch things go wrong in our families yet every time we just look and we are just passive about it truth we are studying god's word but we do not realize that when the word of God is not spoken, it will only reside in your spirit and stay there. But it will not change your life. Until it is brought forth and declared. He said, declare ye that ye might be justified. Where the word of a king is, there is power. Can I tell you something? According to Jewish culture, alright? The proof that you are a king is that you can just speak and your word is done. Have you realized that in this earth realm, the more you become an oga, the proof that you are an oga is that you just speak and things happen. Hallelujah. If I say, um, Casey, come, and he gets up and comes, what happens? His ability to obey my word is proof that I'm not a non-entity. Are you understanding me? and so you need to realize that the proof of your dominion the true proof of your dominion in the kingdom is that you speak things and they happen if things are not created by the power of your word you are not reigning and there are too many people struggling but the bible says there remained a rest for god's people that you come to a point where you frame your world with the creative power of god Hallelujah. Many of us came here and saying, Lord, will you meet my need? Lord, will you do this and this? And God is saying, when will you get up and take responsibility and begin to put word in your lips? Stand as a king that you are. Are you listening to me? Arise. There are many people who have been sitting. You've been buffeted by Satan again and again because we are unwilling to stand like kings that we are. Say after me, I am royalty. I am royalty. That within you is the ability to create the kind of future you want. If you get to the top and don't find me there, where you are is not the top. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know why? Because I will not shut my mouth over my destiny. You see, in the earth realm, 
if you keep quiet you are con the bible says even a fool when he is silent is considered wise so people just say i don't want to look for trouble there are many people who are afraid of making their faith declarations about their future so when you get up and begin to speak and say in the name of jesus i will not beg for bread and your roommate say i thought you just begged me for one indomie so what so what are you listening to me through faith we understand that the walls were framed framed for you to ever speak you must know the kind of life you want and for you to know the kind of life you want you have to go back to the word of god the word of god gives you a picture of the kind of life god has for you jeremiah 29 11 i know the things that i think the thoughts that i think towards you said the lord they are thoughts of good and not of evil to bring you a future and an expected end hallelujah there are many people can i tell you something i am convinced that one of the reasons why the holy spirit came back to resurrect jesus is because he spoke it how many of you know that before he died he said it he said i would die but after three days i will rise he wasn't just informing them he was releasing a word so that when the mortal body was dead on the third day that word was activated i've spoken things about my life and i'm not careful about let me tell you something the man who brings you to a point of silence has destroyed your life are you learning something this night all that you need to speak many of us all we speak is i don't have this i don't have that my life is not this we are the when will you start speaking stop speaking what you are seeing begin to create you are co-creators with god hallelujah for years i kept speaking i said i will never be a failure in life i will never be a failure in ministry there is nothing that my hands will ever touch that will fail I, I tell you the truth take me anywhere the result will come you know why this technology of the spirit will work hmm. and so jesus christ comes to a place and begins to heal the people with the power of his word hallelujah many times you come for meetings and you see all of these things you create a doorway from the realm of the spirit to this realm there are several believers that have several virtues of the spirit locked up in the realm of the spirit but we are too silent or oh, we are careful you don't want to uh you don't want to look charismatic unfortunately i hope you know that in genesis in genesis chapter 3 the bible says and they heard the voice of god walking in the cool of the day the hebrew rendition is they had the talking spirit that's what the hebrew called god there the spirit that talks the talking spirit let me tell you something if you make up your mind to walk with this principle i'm teaching you tonight your success will scare you there are many people who don't speak i'm not just talking about a special time when you lock your door you make it a part of your life to speak many of us speak but we speak the wrong things and so our lives begin to move in the direction of our words the creative power of the spoken word you never find me say certain things about myself i cannot it's not for me no sir I shared it, I think, was it during the leaders meeting or something? Or somewhere. I said, even if I were not born again, I will never kill myself. That spirit of suicide, impossible. You know how much I believe in myself? I will nev never, the money I will use to buy rope to hang myself, I will eat food with it or do something else. You've got to speak your way to victory in this life if you sit down waiting for god you will sit down there forever you've got to speak you've got to prophesy you've got to declare ezekiel chapter 37 i trust god that will pray one of the things god was bringing my attention to 
and in this place we are raising talking spirits men and women the jamfa has always said it that in every man is a prophetic dimension whether or not you are called to occupy the office of a prophet the ability to decree to create to establish hallelujah I and my church we don't like talking start talking start talking open your mouth and decree declare tell yourself my life let me tell you something every time things look like they are not going they are not working don't sit down and say oh god when will my change come the day you start speaking many of us say what if i'm speaking and it's going worse that's the time to keep speaking more you keep quiet you've made the biggest mistake satan brings us you know what depression is let me tell you something depression is a demonic mechanism to bring you to a state of silence so that you don't speak again that's why men are the ones who are most depressed because according to our character and makeup when men have serious issues they keep quiet it's women that always talk why did it when you see a man just keep quiet the worries on that man if he puts it on you it will kill you i watched one nigerian film that one man thinks we're not going um things were not going um right and all of this as in several kinds of uh, terrible things were happening and then they were the landlord was supposed to come and drive him out that was the final thing he just came out of his veranda and he just put his hand like this and while the people were discussing and trying to beg the landlord's boys the guy had died since they came outside and found out that this guy died on his hands he said, what, what kind of life is that the last ounce of energy that he had he'd have said lord there's got to be more either your word is true or i'm doing something wrong in any case speaking will reveal it i make up shut your door we have very few believers that understand the creative power of the word hallelujah and so we sit down and say lord lord when will you help me when will you help me many of us have been looking for all kinds of things many of our parents are there and you say ah god gave us this thing for business we have been looking for capital we are waiting for one uncle you are waiting for one uncle have you not heard that the bible says the word became flesh so the word can become flesh ah when the word becomes flesh it will dwell among you if the word can become flesh the word can become the money you are looking for the word can become the increase you are looking for the word can become anything the bible says the word that was in the realm of the spirit wore a material body it became flesh the word became flesh oh that's why every promise of god in my life must become flesh i must identify with it here and now in this realm hallelujah the power of god's word i understand that i live in a kingdom that is governed by words how come sorcerers know this and demons know this and witches are you never go to a native doctor and he is silent they are always saying things whether you understand or not is not the issue is that they are saying things the creative power of the spoken word many of us have stopped speaking about our lives because you felt well i started and i'm not seeing anything the bible says why we look not at the things that are seen but the things that are unseen for the things that are seen are temporal let me tell you something every time god sends you he will send you with only a word many people when they are starting out in ministry they've not done anything they are looking for partners they are looking for everything <laughs> all this begging 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 sitting down to bear people there are many of us are you not tired of begging your uncles and aunties running helter skelter there are many of us who are looking for our school fees and you will not let every, you've called almost everybody on your phone and you are angry why don't you make the word become flesh he said but how shall these things be that's what mary asked he said how shall these things be oh god how shall these things be that's what zechariah said when the angel brought him word he doubted and 
Gabriel was angry. He said, I am Gabriel that standeth in the presence of God. And guess what? Zechariah became deaf and dumb. You know why? So that his words would not change the plan of God. And his mouth was shut until the baby was born and he used his hand to write it. He said his name is John. God said, now your mouth can open. Isn't that amazing? That's a powerful lesson we need to learn. God had, because Zechariah was a priest, he was operating in a prophetic office. And if he made decree, he could interrupt heaven's affairs on earth. There are many people, have you not known that your speaking cooperates with the heavens to bring to birth realities? Every time God shows you, many of you get up with a beautiful dream. You saw people celebrating you in the dream. That's an opportunity to make that word become flesh. You just lie down and write it in your book and say, I know one day it will happen. And you are angry now. You saw it when you were four years. How old are you? 30. You have not seen any manifestation. Hallelujah. We have to come to points where we keep speaking. Speaking. You want to go for a job interview, you begin to speak. I am well favored. I am well favored. The grace of God is at work in my life. I feel very sad when I see people living as if the word of God is not working. I tell you the truth with all humility what you see today is a product of the word becoming flesh the strength and the creative potency of the word on the lips of faith hallelujah who told you the blessings in the word cannot become your reality it's just that we have trained ourselves to run and beg do everything we run with everything just run, look at our parents running elter skelter i know this person i know that person some of us are already looking for admission and the, and the next thing is please who do you know that can help me let me share with you a story to the glory of god i didn't ask him for permission but i'll share it over steve's admission he shared with me let me tell you something when steve was looking for admission i didn't ask for it i'm sorry sir hallelujah the first list came out and he didn't get the admission and then the second list came out he also didn't get the admission hallelujah then they used to do first second and third list and then he meandered his way living living faith church and while he sat down there he had somebody giving a testimony that he went around the senate building seven times speaking and when he did the admission the second list came and he got it and steve said ah see him he can confirm it steve went round your senate seven times carbol satire the bible says wherever the, the my feet treads upon has been given unto me that's him the word of god the word of god let me share with you something to bless your heart when my sister my sister she's in final year now to the glory of god she got admission she was given economics and something happened and she collapsed during her work and then she didn't she didn't get the, the she didn't make maths or something then and so when it was time to give her admission things didn't work out and uh, they said well here's your admission letter but you don't have maths and so i said so where do we try now i was asking her and she said okay I can do mass communication. I've said, Lord, what is my sister going to study? I've been blessing other people. And God said, my sister was going to study mass communication. I said, that's all. I went to the HOD's office and I said, well, uh, there's a one full and man like this. He said, uh, that, well, there's no admission. There's no this thing. I just left him quietly. and See, when you know this power, you stop begging people. The place of your victory is not in the open. You go and shut yourself and say, are you not the creator of heavens and the earth? And I began to speak. And suddenly as I began to speak, God gave wisdom. And God told me, he said, go and meet Prof. Rampia's father of blessed memory. He blessed our lives before he went to be with the Lord. Hallelujah. And God just gave me the wisdom and I went and met him. 
and he said you mean the man said no admission and he just got up and went and went to talk with the man i said well it's not like there's no admission it's just that they have to wait and see first and all of that and that cut the long story short my sister is in final year today my younger sister could not enter school for a long time because she was looking for a particular paper she did have and everything she got frustrated at a point and one year i got angry i had gotten admission my sister had not gotten admission i got angry in the court many of you don't know it now in the court there that night he was a, i became a talking spirit i said lord even if my sister doesn't write wayek english must come out this year i put it as a time i, I got angry in my spirit and the spirit of faith i was one who drove her to a cafe and when we went to the cafe she couldn't come out because she had written exams many times just like many of you are saying master we have told all night nevertheless at thy word hallelujah and when i checked it and i saw c in her english i came out say hey where are you oh, yeah collect your today by god's grace she has graduated served she's a happy happy wonderful lady she's looking for a job and she told me i said truly if i'm a blessing and i'm a servant of god believe me you have a very good job any of you say guy man of god don't you know that is the same ability that resides within you why do you think we sing that song same power that conquered the grave lives in me lives in me your love that rescued the earth lives in me how many how many things have come our way that would have changed by the creative power of god's word ezekiel chapter 37 very quickly and then we'll pray this was the encounter of the prophet ezekiel and the spirit of the living god very simple lesson for us to get and then i like us to pray it's my desire friends that the least person among us here will command fearful breakthroughs and advancements in our lives that we will lead the reality of this scripture that says the least among them will be as great as david so that it will not just be a few people i look forward to times when it's time for testimony we have to stop and say hold on because we will say i must give this word works that statement the word works i don't hear many people say it again that means it has not been working for many people that means you have stopped speaking ezekiel 37 thank you lord jesus for the breath of your spirit upon this word the hand of the lord was upon me and carried me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the midst of a valley that was full of bones. Say it was full of bones. So it's not only your life that is full of bones. There's a valley that has been full of bones. And believe me, there are some people's lives that the bones are almost filling the valley. You need to hear this message tonight and begin to reduce those bones and create an exceeding great army out of those bones many of us do not realize that the same things that look like disadvantages are the raw materials that will be used to create the miracle the same bones now became an exceeding great army read on and caused me to pass by them round about and behold there were very many in the open valley and lo they were what they were what it was a description of the state of hopelessness see i don't care what problem you have in this place i don't care what kind of future you need to frame solomon tells us that there is nothing that is happening now on the earth that has not happened before whether it's financial situation whether it's your education whether it's whatever the bible makes us to understand that with the creative power of God's word you can frame a glorious destiny you may not be able to do anything about yesterday but you can begin to speak today to redeem your tomorrow are you listening to me 
verse 3 and he said unto me son of man can these bones live again do you see a future where these bones suddenly become human beings standing ah the prophet said bones becoming an army is hard to oh god i'm a prophet i've seen visions i've seen all kinds of supernatural things but lord on this only thou knowest hallelujah it gets to points in your life where if god tells you certain situations can change they look so impossible until the miracle happens you will never believe it can happen when you hear some testimonies and close your mouth the person was not laughing when he was trusting god for the breakthrough of that testimony remember when we were going to pangshin 2006 we didn't have the it's not like now that we are reaping the products of the word of god we were going for a crusade a few people here were there then and there was no money for the transportation but we had asked the drivers to come to main gate and we told everybody go and be entering the bus where and i meet on campus god is my witness that was where i was walking i said in the name of jesus lord you have given us this instruction your word is true and as i was speaking there and then people were running from hostels and running from wherever and coming and saying i hear you people are about to leave here's the money ask him that's how we raise the money at that point why are we too quick to doubt god and his ability to bring his promises to pass in our lives i believe god i believe god i believe god i believe god everything he has said in his word i believe and I have declared that I will see it happen in my lifetime. Hallelujah. So I'm provoking us tonight to realize that part of the principles of the kingdom is the ability to speak God's word. You have a business. Enough of begging people and trying to look for favor. Who can connect? Who can do this? You are looking for a job. Enough of begging this. Begging, begging, begging thing. I'm telling you, I've said it again and again and I'll keep saying it. Thank you for those of you who are graduating. Take your eyes away from men. Take your eyes away from men. You will be disappointed again and again in this life. In my little life, I've come to see that anything that the word of God does not give is vanity and is a mirage. It will only bring you pain and sorrow. Men can promise you heaven and hell and you will be this not because they want to be unfaithful the best and the greatest of any man is still a man son of man can these bones live again he said only thou knowest verse 4 he said again he said unto me do what are you reading it again he said unto me prophesy he didn't say read the scroll he said what prophesy speak prophesy 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 and say what he said prophesy upon he didn't say prophesy to god you need to know when to speak to god and when to speak to situations and circumstances and speak to your future many of us are always talking to god both the things we should tell him and the things we should do ourselves it says speak upon these bones it's the same thing as god saying josh you who are trusting god for a boss project do you believe that this can become a boss <laughs> god is not stupid like that wisdom is profitable to direct that's the kind of carnality that has come upon our minds that we are not able to believe god if god tells me our boss will come from this till i die you will meet me on my knees here calling this to become a boss i will not respond foolishly i will respond to the word but if he has decreed it it will come to pass hallelujah so you find the truth of god's word concerning your life in the word 
and then you keep it in your spirit and suddenly you begin to frame i will never be poor in this life never never be poor in this life you know why you know why let me tell you something i've said it again i'm saying it with all humility there is nobody here that receives salary from this ministry ask the treasurers they are there nobody i've never asked the ministry to give me one naira for my daily bread i said god i can't be tying my faith and the well-being of my family to the obedience of someone so god tells you to sow a seed into my life and you struggle with god for three months before saying yes while you are struggling i'm suffering from nothing i rather believe god's word for myself are you listening to me i rather believe god's word for myself oh i know his word works but it doesn't just work blindly i'm teaching you the dynamics of the creative power of god's word that you put god's word in your lips not just to pray and say lord i want this so i've been telling you if you don't give me you are not speaking the word you are just making noise and, and disturbing the realm of the spirit you need to be constructive 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 are you getting me you need to be constructive ah god i said this and that i'm trusting you when will the change come anyway i've made up my mind to give you glory you keep giving glory over nothing you need to calm down what the creative force listen listen i'm very serious about what i'm i'm, I'm saying the creative force in the realm of the spirit is not your words is god's word so if what you have been speaking is your word it will not create anything if your word becomes god's word then it will create something all this vain thing that people command angels up and down and no angel has moved at your command the angels will only move at your command if your word is the word of god is it as in, my angels go go by which authority who are you you didn't send them the bible says they were sent to minister and so you they are they move only under the instruction of the holy spirit so when it looks like they are obeying your words is because your word has become god's word ha no mountain will move because of your word oh mountain move you know me ah you know you it takes a revelation where you understand no demon will give way because your name is called joshua selman nothing will change in your life because you are a christian many people say god i'm a christian my life is not moving forward i will go back to drinking and smoking please yeah that's the door go go and drink and smoke and see how good you become but you must come to a point in your life where you realize that it is within my power to frame my destiny there's a place for praying in tongues are you listening to me it's all speaking the word but there's a place for conscious and willful lifting of the word of god that's why i love the word of faith movement you put the word in your lips and make decrees things are not working every time god keeps convicting you god keeps convicting you change this situation many people say okay josh i've been speaking god's word nothing is moving don't worry keep speaking is changing when the clouds be full of rain they will empty themselves a day will come the miracle will overtake you you say god is too much god say too much for what you have ignited you have put the code it's, it, it can't stop ah i cannot i cannot stop being blessed you know why you know why i understand the principles from god's word there's no place i'll go in this life that the door will not be open it's not about me it's about a spiritual principle through faith we understand that he and i was framed by the word of god through faith we understand that koinonia came into being it was only an announcement in january today through faith it has gained structure through faith we understand that we'll be taking the nations through faith a day will come through the media through whatever a day will come that what god has told you that you will own the largest satellite that will be to africa what tbn is to the world through faith you know that it will come to pass men say well it will happen one day i'll, I'll meet paul crouch you see the kind of unbelief i'm talking about you don't need to meet paul crouch you just need to know the word of god 
so all i need to do is god what are you saying if god says by this time tomorrow by this time tomorrow he and i will have a tv station i will announce it and rejoice and say guys this is what god has said and then i will not just go back foolishly and cross my leg i said god's word he told timothy he said how did he put it um he said make a good warfare with the prophecy that has been given to you in other words it's the word of let me tell you you will keep seeing things in the realm of the spirit that will never happen in your life if you keep your mouth shut there are too many people they've seen themselves with new suits they've seen new car they've seen blessings they've seen family you saw yourself flying in, in the air until now bicycle has not even crossed the gate of your house you know why because everybody's just crossing his leg and waiting god is god you think so there are people who don't sleep in the night they make it as a praying time while you are snoring up and down they are making decrees over their life they dance and while they dance you see them and say ah look at that person just dancing foolishly that's what they are doing then one day you see them standing and you're like hey god this was my classmate what were you doing when he was speaking you are in the lecture after after a lecture the lecturer is not coming and you see someone just speaking and say lord I know that the course I'm studying may not be very lucrative, but my life is upon your word. I make decrees. And the person is listening. You're like, please, if you want to give to Caesar what belongs to Caesar, you're in the class. Stop doing all these your holy things. And then suddenly you see doors that will open. As the person is graduating, that's when somebody is, is being promoted abroad and they will bring the person and say, we have been waiting for you. I don't know you, but God gave us a word to bless you. I say, ah, some people are locking this lock. There's nothing called luck, brothers and sisters. There is nothing. Forget about all those luck, luck, mother nature thing. You create your future. Say after me, in the name of Jesus, I have the power to frame my future. You cannot frame a future you don't have an idea of. Have you ever seen any architect wanting to build a house? And he tells the people, just build. They say, where is the toilet? They say, just, just build, okay? I am not complaining. Is it you that I will live in the house? Just be building. And the guy says, should I put it in the middle of the house? Just keep building. Before, hear me. Before you build any house, you must have a plan. Your plan. So you must have an idea. What does the word picture of your future does the word of God give you? The word of God gives you a picture of a blessed life. Let me show you some pictures that the word of God gives. Can we look at it very quickly? All right. Guys, let me show you something powerful. Psalms 128, quickly. I don't know if you ever desire this kind of future, but that's the kind of future I desire. We're going to pray shortly. Psalms 128, are you there? Psalms 128. Blessed is everyone that feareth the Lord and walketh in his ways. Verse 2. Okay, we have it on the slide. Verse 2. He said, for thou shalt eat the labor of your hands. Is it in your Bible? That's, that's a painting of your picture, of your future. He said, thou shalt eat the labor of your hand. Happy shalt thou be, and it shall be well with you. Verse 3. Thy wife, that means you'll be married. So that ends the issue of disturbing God and not letting God rest. Oh, when will my wife come? The Bible already said, thy wife, for heaven's sake. Are you understanding he said thy wife shall be as a fruitful vine by thy side so no no fear of divorce she will be by your side that's what the bible says of thy house he said thy children so there will be children like olive plants round about your table depends on how many you want i'm not sure i want round about my table if i have three children i've contributed my best to the planet hallelujah next verse verse four Behold, thus shall be, thus shall be, thus shall the man be blessed that feareth the Lord. So this is a scripture that you can speak. Let me confess, Jakes has been eating this scripture for the last how many days? Especially the part of the blessing. No, 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 I'm not talking of the wife part. Many of you are. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is a prophetic picture of your destiny. And you say, Lord, 
i do not yet see all things under my feet but my mouth will bring it under my feet and you begin to speak and say lord this is your word i believe your word and i begin to decree hallelujah are you there one more scripture what's the other scripture sir help me there. job 5 ah yeah let me show you how many of you know job was a dangerous man that guy job you need to study the book of job let me show you something in job 5 i'm showing you a prophetic picture of your destiny mm. hallelujah okay verse verse 19 he shall deliver thee in six troubles yea seven in seven shall no evil touch thee in famine he shall redeem thee from death recession recession ah there's recession everywhere it's coming into nigeria so the word of god says in famine he will redeem you from death are you are you understanding it says and is war and in war from the power of the sword and thou shalt be hidden from the scourge of the tongue let me tell you what the scourge of the tongue is somebody spoke against me in the village and he said it will not be well with me the bible says that there is an operation of the spirit that makes you immune to the scourge of the tongue let men speak whatever they speak as they are speaking all they see is the dust from your back advancement unlimited there's nothing any man can do to stop me this young man standing may be young in himself but there is a mighty hand that i'm sitting upon every one of us is sitting upon a hand that cannot fail hear me cannot fail when the word of god enters your spirit people will think you are arrogant it's just an expression of the truth of god's word that's why jesus said come on i've, I've been on before abraham was i am he said don't take my being nice for I believe God's word tonight the meeting is supposed to provoke you he said neither shall thou be afraid of destruction when it cometh at destruction and famine thou shall what laugh neither shall thou be afraid of the beast of the earth neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth neither shall thou be afraid of the beasts of the earth hallelujah very very solid very very powerful scriptures that god is showing let me show you something in isaiah 43 isaiah 43 i love the word of god i love the word of god i love the word of god with my life i love the word of god Are you there it says verse 18 remember not the former things nor consider the things of old he said behold i do a new thing now it shall spring forth shall ye not know it i will even make a way in the wilderness and rivers in the desert so if god sends you to a wilderness there's still no problem i will make a way in the wilderness rivers streams in the desert for as long as i keep speaking the word of god over people's lives they will keep getting results you know why let me show you very quickly it's not because my name is called joshua selman isaiah 44 mm verse 24 thus saith the lord thy redeemer him who formed thee from the womb i am the lord who maketh all things who stretched for the heavens alone who spreadeth abroad the earth by myself who frustrated the tokens of the liars and maketh diviners mad who turneth wise men backwards and make their 
knowledge, foolishness, who confirmed the word of what? Is it in your Bible? He confirms the words of his servant. And the counsel of his messengers. So that when I decree and say in the name of Jesus, you are blessed. I am confident you will get a result. Because he confirms the words of his servant. You create your future with the kind of life you want. I mean, you create the kind of life you want with the word of God. I am blessed in the city. I know it. I know it. I am blessed in the country. Everywhere I go, I am blessed. Let me tell you something. If I step into a place, even if my enemies are, the, are all the people there, they will bless me. The Bible says when a man's ways please the Lord, he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him. That's why I don't have enemies. I don't have enemies. I will keep being promoted in this life from one dimension of grace to the other. The reason is because my promotion in life is not tied to any man. The Bible says promotion neither comes from the east, nor the west, nor the south. Promotion comes from God. Hallelujah. I will never get arrogant over what God is doing in my life. You know why? The Bible says the race is not to the swift. The battle is not to the strong. It said it is not of him that willeth, nor of him that runneth, but of the Lord that showeth this. When you saturate your life with God's word, then you begin to declare, favor follows me everywhere I go. I'm favored. I'm favored. Hallelujah. I'm favored. Kabatko satabalakaya. I'm favored. Blessed in the city. Blessed in the country. In the name of Jesus, the works of my hands are blessed. Everything I lay my hands to do is blessed. Blessed in my business. Blessed in ministry. You know why? The Bible says, whatsoever, it says, shall be like a tree planted by the streams. I will never know dryness in my life because I'm planted by the rivers of living water. He said, whose, whose, um, whose leaves does not wither? And then he said, whatsoever, whatsoever, whatsoever he doeth, prospers. If I don't do it, it's not because I'm afraid of failing. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I want to obey God. But anything I lay my hands to do, if it is of God, it will prosper. Can you come to that point? Laban made a confession. He said, I know that on account of you, God has blessed me. Your presence in my house is like the ark that was in the house of Obededon. Favor follows me everywhere I go. I have the grace of God. That's why when I shake your hands and I say you are blessed, believe me, you are blessed. You don't know the scriptures that frame the revelation of what I'm doing. That's why you can step into a place and say, peace be still and there will be peace. Hear me, brothers and sisters. I can go on my knees and beg you. You are not victorious in this life until you come to a point where you can put the word of God in your lips and begin to frame your destiny. Frame your destiny. Frame your destiny. Say after me, I'm framing my destiny. Don't sit down and watch things not go in your in your family. There are people who are not getting married and all of this. And I say, well, it's just God. It's just God. Yes, you did Bible study about it. Have you spoken? Yes, you cried and rolled. Have you gotten up to speak? The Bible says David cried until there was no strength in him. God didn't say anything. And then he got up and spoke and said, God, should I pursue? God said, this is what I've been waiting. Pursue and overtake. So many of us tonight need to wipe our tears and say, Satan, I'm not as weak as you think I am. I've been equipped. I may look weak in myself. But let me tell you, I am going to take the word of God and put upon my lips. And begin to speak. And say, Lord, my father is getting a good job that will restore him from the time he has been blackmailed. A job that will pay him and restore him. And you are speaking. And you call your father and say, Daddy, I want you to know that I'm on a project speaking over your life and destiny. And my love, I say, well, thank you, son or daughter. The day they call him, you say, ah, this thing works. Oh, it works. 
it works I believe the word of God the word of God works I can stake my life to death at God's word I know his word works there is more to the story of my life there's more to the story of this great ministry because of the power and the operation of God's word our boldness our sufficiency is not in ourselves our sufficiency is in the confidence that we derive from the integrity of God's word no matter what challenge you are in no matter what miracle you need for your life I like you to know that if you stand to be an ambassador and make it a project to begin to decree only God's word go and frame certain scriptures put it on your laptop i like that software that while you are working on your laptop it keeps bringing uh the word out instead of putting your picture and see yourself when you went for excursion you just put your leg like, put the word of god change your ringtone to something that will administer the word of god ah josh has started fanatical okay oh. when you make the word of god a project in your life and you begin to speak and make decrees and say in the name of jesus my life is blessed once in a while you invite your friends or your roommates and say let's go and pray and after praying in tongues say hold on we are going to speak definite things we begin to speak and when you speak let's finish up this scripture ezekiel so that we can pray Sometimes I wish there's time and time again to just keep expounding on God's word. Ezekiel. You do wonders. You do wonders in our midst. Faithful God. Faithful God. Ha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. I didn't want to share this, but I'm, I'm sensing my spirit to share it. God told me something. He said, Son, the dimension of influence and increase and expansion that you are stepping into, I mean, everyone, not just me as a person, together as a family. God told me we are stepping into fearful dimensions of increase and expansion by the Spirit. We are told the leaders. I remember Jankfa saw it in a vision. And when God told me, I started laughing. I was happy and I was laughing. Because I know what God means by that. God is saying, son, I've shown you the picture in the heavens. Make it real in this realm. And I began to say, Lord, kapo satire. I partner with you. Koinonia. It's not just intimacy. Partnership. I agree with you. Let it be done as it is in the heavens so friends you have not seen increase you have not seen expansion god told me with it will come many persecution because people will talk a time will come people will say these people their ways are not straight the way things are happening let me tell you brothers and sisters we don't have any secret this is it the good old word of god the good old word of god i love the prophetic so much because it announces the thing before it happens. You do want to see me. You do want to see me. You do wonders. You do want to see me. Faithful God. on all sides that's what i see advancement on all sides breaking new grounds i don't see a worse tomorrow no by the spirit greater transformation greater building that's what i see i look forward to a time when the worship team go international they are going the media going international oh yes it's happening by the spirit and it's for the kingdom i don't know what you see but that's what i see that's what i see many of you need to change 
the word of God changes your perception. Increase on all sides. Undeniable expansion by the word of God operating on an economic frequency that cannot be calculated by any law of economics. Only by the spirit. And when we dumbfound the wisdom of men, then we shrink back to say, King of kings, be glorified glorified let's finish the scripture friends i like you to prepare yourself to be a part of what god is doing and say unto them all ye dry bones hear ye the word of who it was ezekiel speaking but he called it the word of who so although you are speaking it in the realm of the spirit it is registered as the very words of jesus christ carrying the same potency and creative ability that's why i love the prophetic the prophetic is not just to reveal to you the future it can create one the prophet said this woman has been good to us what do we give her can you imagine he didn't say let me go and pray and find out he said this woman has been nice it is within our power to create a future for this family and he said according to the time of life that god will raise generals among us who will make decrees and say because of me lord my family my mother didn't go to school my dad didn't go to school but they will reap the blessings of having a blessed child refuse to see yourself as small nobody knows you now but the word of god will create a ladder for you you will ride prosperously through life that when men say there is a casting down there is an invisible ladder people say where is the ladder that you are climbing in the word of god the word of god was a a pillar for someone to walk on water and he said come he said if it be thou bid me come and he said come and Peter got up full of his own belief notwithstanding he walked on that water I'm telling you the truth there is no situation you cannot walk over I believe God's word I believe God's word I believe God's word I believe that a time will come in my life when I will almost not be allowed to do anything because there will be too many people to bless me where somebody will say please don't pay the school fees of your children give me the privilege of having your children come to my school that's what i believe i don't know about you i know that a time will come when the the financial blessings god is giving you you will not see any need to use it because there's really no need you will just keep pumping it for the advancement of the kingdom you are just saying thank you jesus it's a realm of it's a realm where the bible says the reaper will overtake the sower you don't know whether it's a harvest or it's a seed you are so you cannot even tell again you lift up your voice someone comes with a car key of a house uh, I'm, I'm a car key and a house and says god gave me an instruction and told me to build this and bless you for your service for the kingdom people say what is this then you remember when you were on campus and you were shouting and saliva was pouring from your mouth you say this is the fruit and you will stand as a testament and as an epistle to show that the word of God is potent and that it has power. Rise up on your feet. For light is shining in the darkness. Jesus. Verse 7. So I prophesied as I was commanded. And as I prophesied, there was a noise. Say after me, a noise. Oh, it always starts with a noise. For every time you begin to speak, there is a sound in the spirit. Echoing your confessions. You may not see it, but there is a movement. He said, as I prophesied, there was a noise. There was a sound. And then a shaking. And bones came together. And verse 9, he said unto me, prophesy to the wind prophesy to the wind son of man say unto the wind 
all breath breathe upon this slain that they may live so i prophesied as he commanded me and the breath came into them and they lived and stood up the authority of a king is in his speaking for where the word of a king is there is power i don't know if you are angry tonight to know that you have a responsibility over your destiny go ahead and thank god for the word say lord i thank you oh yes koinonia is also a place of partnership 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 cooperating with the heavens I see my future in the word of God I see my future in the word of God and I speak go ahead and begin to speak I speak I am better than where I am now I speak please make sure you are speaking through faith we understand that the world will frame will frame frame your future inside and outside frame your future the Holy Ghost is hearing what you are saying the angels are there moving at the direction of your word there's creative power create a future a blessed one i declare i have a blessed life free of worry free of fear full of prosperity full of grace i'm moving from grace to grace the bible says my path is as a shining light that shines brighter brighter on to the perfect day i declare the lines are falling to me in pleasant places i have a goodly heritage gentiles come to my light kings to the brightness of my rising oh hallelujah i'm favored blessed in the city blessed in the country in the name of jesus I'm moving from grace to grace, from glory to glory. My past is as a light that shineth brighter and brighter. Everything I lay my hands to do prospers. The Lord commands the blessings on my storehouse and upon all that I set my hands to do. My gates are continually open. I receive the forces of the Gentiles. Pray. Pray. Increase on every side. Promotion on every side. Favor on every side. Favor on every side. Favor on every side. Favor on every side. A sick free life. A worry free life. A life of joy and gladness. Enjoying the blessings of God. Taking the kingdom of God. To the unreached places by the power of God. Blessed in my business, blessed in my life, experiencing ever increasing glory, ever increasing glory, ever increasing glory. Come on, pray, pray the creative power of the word of god upon your lips my family members are blessed they are blessed they are blessed no death no death i refuse to die i live long i choose life I suck honey from the rock. 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 Every wilderness becomes a plain ground. Every wilderness. Every dry ground is fruitful unto me. Every dry ground is fruitful from grace to grace, from glory to glory. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit is saying, I want you to know me more. 
That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to reveal my presence to you. I want to reveal my glory to you. The Holy Spirit is ministering to us. I want you to know me more. You have known other things. But it's time to know me. The Holy Spirit is calling us into a deeper level of knowledge. I want you to know me more. I want you to know me more. That's what the Holy Spirit is ministering to me. To say, I want you to know me more. Man of God, woman of God, prophet of God, apostle of God. I want you to know me more. I'm calling you to a deeper level. A deeper level. A level beyond religion. A level beyond religion. That's what the Holy Spirit is saying. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. I want to show you my presence. I want to show you my glory. The Holy Spirit is a person that can be known. The Holy Spirit is not just a mystery. The knowledge of Him is the victory of the saints. He is called the helper. He says, I will lift up my eyes unto the hills. He said, from whence cometh my help? My help cometh from the Lord. And he sent us his spirit as the helper. The challenge is many people never pay attention. It takes time to know him. It takes time to understand him. It takes time to walk in his presence. But that time is worth it. Hallelujah. It's restoring your prayer life. It's restoring your prayer life. It's putting goals upon your prayer life. The Lord, I see the spirit of prayer and supplication. He's restoring your prayer life. He's restoring your prayer life. You need it in this season. With this song, He's restoring your prayer life. He's restoring your prayer life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He's restoring your prayer life. God is giving people grace for prayer. Taking away spiritual laziness. Taking away the excuses that have caused your altar to become barren of fire. He's planting a new fire. Without prayer, revival cannot come. Without prayer, revival cannot come. The Spirit of God in this miracle service is reigniting your prayer. You are not a believer if you don't pray. You are not part of His army if you don't pray. The grace to pray. The grace to pray. We are at the threshold of a new revival that is coming and there must be a reintroduction of a fresh dimension of the spirit of prayer we have seen measures we have seen faces but in this season a fresh dimension the devil has cheated many people and we go to the place of prayer and just waste our time and we really don't pray but in the name of jesus restoration of that grace for prayer restoration of that grace for prayer restoration restoration of the grace for prayer He will 
will step in to set the captives free.
tell you something the kind of deliverance deliverance is not fighting demons no an establishment of the victory of christ experientially upon your life are we together and there will be a massive massive turnaround 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 in a way that will surprise you yes. Upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance, and there shall be holiness, and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession. I want you to really be angry tonight and insist that something must break open in your life. At the count of three, you will arise tonight as the God of Jeshua. The one that arrives, he rides upon the wings of the sea. Listen, as you shout that name, it's not a ritual. All I see in this room now is just fire. And I know that the Lord is going to descend with a shout like the warrior that he is. Are we together now? Whether you are in the main auditorium, overflow one, two, three, four by the road, following online. I want you with the simplicity of your childlike faith to shout that name Jesus and that fire will come upon you or just must have your heart. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stand by this apostolic and prophetic mantle and I decree and declare it's time to challenge and confront the gates of darkness. It's time for the sons of Jacob to possess their possessions. It's time for families to be restored. Therefore, Lord, as we lift up the shout to hear in the spirit, I pray in the name of Jesus that every power and every source responsible for the retrogression in anyone's life and destiny it's time for it to be here. Are you ready now? One, two, three. I command that spirit. I command that devil. Bring them out. Shako, Shako, Shabarikata. That shout. I dismantle gates. I cause gates and ordinances. Delay 
a wicked spirit. It can tie a life and can tie a destiny. Lift your hands. I see that fire locating a group of people. Lord, at the count of three, anyone here under the influence of delay, any family here at the count of three, may that spirit leave you. One, two, three. shame you shall receive double the lord is ministering very powerfully i'm still praying over delay listen very carefully i'm still praying over delay many of you do not even know that currently is delay in your ministry in your life any dimension you should have entered but have not entered is delay i say it again I stretch my hands by this anointing in the name of Jesus. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. Let the fire that will end delay fall upon you now. Says, until the spirit be poured upon us from on high and then the wilderness will be counted for a fruitful vine and a fruitful vine be counted for a forest i want to pray i don't know what keys results from our lives there are many well-meaning believers there are many well-meaning individuals you have hands but you can't eat you, there is a song we used to sing growing up it says some have food but cannot eat some can eat but have no food this, this is the category i want to address now you have capacity but no results but not rewarded gifted but not blessed anointed but no one is placing a demand on your grace shalakatos shalakatos ma shalakatos kete 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 shede keta ente rokas kobara ha shede kete balakata shkabarato zanda takato shadia epe keto zata makatos kabarakatos ente sekete zeketa japaru kasabaja kata ente koto sharakata in the name of Jesus I decree and declare whatever has hindered your productivity may the fire of the Holy Ghost separate you and that spirit now separate you and that spirit now there's a category of people God is ministering to me right now just just walk with me you always do the wrong things there is a spirit that makes you do the wrong things the wrong business the wrong relationship the wrong friends you don't know why everything in your life when there is trouble that's when you come anything good happening you will go away from it to evil he says he says the lord's prayer lead us not into temptation that means a man can be led into temptation and he said deliver us from evil lead us not a businessman can be led into destruction led into temptation a precious anointed lady with a great destiny can be led into temptation lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil listen one of the most treasured gifts that you must covet in your life is the ability to hear god clearly 
the times we live in now guess what will punish you again and again he said the lord is my shepherd and i shall not want here's how i quote it if the lord is my shepherd then i shall not want when you are many of us hear demons clearly you hear spirits clearly you hear voices nonsense voices clearly you don't need to pray to hear them but do you know that many of us now even our dreams have been hijacked and manipulated you don't even know whether it's god speaking now or not they come as an appearance of light but the message is not consistent with the integrity of god so you don't even know what to believe again dreams are prophetic avenues for the speakings of god to reach the saints but they can be hijacked and manipulated by the powers that be a lady can be manipulated to reject her husband a gentleman can be manipulated to reject his wife a person can be manipulated to reject his voice he is job there are many people they got jobs a spirit told them leave they thought it was god and they left it i'm seeing the lord is showing me a vision be sensitive something will happen here now and i'm seeing people in the realm of the spirit but i'm not seeing ears imagine like a man no ears this is what i'm seeing now i understand by this vision what the bible says he that hath an ear physically we are supposed to have ears but right now in the name of jesus this is not for everybody hold on i'm praying right now there is a grace that will open the hearing of people i stretch my hands lord where are they the men and women that need to hear you in this season for ministry to move forward i stretch my hands representing the hands of god and i command the hearing ears be open now please help them be open now be open now for business be open now for ministry be open now for your career be open now hallelujah and isaac sowed in that land he sowed in a specific there is a geography to increase it doesn't just happen everywhere there are people today if the devil wants to destroy them he will give them visa to uk they will think his breakthrough not every open door is anointed there are times the devil destroys you by opening doors it's not always closed doors there are open doors that, that are open doors towards doom he said there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but the end thereof are the ways of death mm. Thou shall show me the path of life. He said, for it is in your light that we see light. We are going to cry for divine direction. Many destinies are tied down now because of divine direction or lack of it. Lord, what is the next phase of my life? You can't remain like this and just sit down. What is the next season? What is your blueprint? Lift your voice and pray. Show me, oh God. I buy into the mind of the spirit. What is your communication for my ministry, for my life in this season? I don't want to be found where you were. I want to be found where you are. Pray. He that hath an ear, let him hear what the spirit is saying, not what he said. What he's saying, what he's saying, what he's saying. He said the spirit speaketh expressly, not the spirit spoke. The spirit speaketh expressly. Direction, okay. Listen, listen. Let me talk to us a little. Especially, I know that a generation of young people were very proud. We just believe that just because we went to school we can determine the course of our lives with intelligence now destiny is not just academics and education you must cry part 
time per second for revelation this ministry by the grace of god we are where we are because not just because of the ability to hear god but the ability to stay until he says move tiredness can tell you to move weariness can tell you to move he said if your presence goeth not with us don't send us from here oh god we are not going do you know it is costly to go without god is cheaper the pain of your waiting is cheaper than the pain of knowing that you are where god is not there are men of god that started well but people encourage you and say this is how they do it in ministry when you get to this level this is the next step and you foolishly took a step a step that ate away your destiny and your progress and your blessing hallelujah it matters that we understand times and seasons and that we can wait until god says move i remember after our second crusade in this ministry the next year we we're discussing and they say where are we going i went to the lord and the lord said you are not going anywhere and i said okay we're not going anywhere ah, but i thought we'd do it every year <clears throat> be careful the ritual of religion can destroy you god used to do this way it doesn't mean he has to do it the same way the most important thing is let it be him doing it treasure of my heart and of my soul in my weakness you are merciful mm. redeemer of my past and present wrong you're the holder of my future days to come nothing in this world says jesus you're the calm that won't run dry we live our lives being in a hurry is not the same thing as speed God is a God of speed. I don't know why I'm preaching this now. This is part of the miracle service. God is the God of speed, but God is not the God of rush. There is a difference between speed and rush. Many of us, the Spirit of God is speaking to someone here. You need to calm down. The way you are running with your life, you are going to land in trouble. The way you are running with ministry, you will land in trouble. The way you are approaching marriage, the way you are approaching destiny, you will land in trouble. Culture and the sociological um, context of our living can mount pressure on us to run ourselves to the ditch. My soul, wait thou upon the Lord. God is a God of speed but until he speaks you are on your own it's amazing how you can be running for many years and find out that you are not moving running but not moving and here comes a man as weak as he is but he can walk at the pace of god and more can be achieved in one month with god than 10 years alone have you not learned the excellency of walking with god he said for with god all things without god outside of god there are things that are not possible apostle my life i don't want to be a failure age is already um, not on my side i must make sure that i build a house now i must and god is saying calm down son you have handed your life over to me let me be lord of your life i say lord you don't know the pressure that is coming from my family let's be careful satan comes to attack us at the points of our vulnerability and hijacks us don't miss the series on friday we're rounding up the deliverance series are we together god is already speaking that's what leads many of us to this life of hustling putting your hand in everything and just rushing around and they say why well, say man must work all those nonsense cliches must get out of your life and your mind if god does not lead me i'm not going nowhere you may call me irresponsible but let me die waiting my soul waits down upon the lord it's now a foreign experience to many of us to wait
gone are the days that people will say i'm i'm waiting now, people just think waiting is fasting from six to six waiting means waiting the bible says except the lord built a house listen very carefully it says they labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city man of god listen businessman he says he says the watchman watched but in vain and my bible says it is vain to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow only to eat the bread of sorrow i'm speaking to someone be tired of the bread of sorrow the bread of sorrow does not feel the bible says he gives his beloved sleep there are many pastors that just get up and feel anointed and just want to rent one small auditorium and punish themselves punish their wives punish the few people that believe in them because they think ministry is just about opening a place and then we have the gods to tell people come it's not that way paul a man approved of god jesus a man approved of god Is God speaking to us? We need to have results in our lives. We are still praying. But you see, God is not a herbalist. No. There are systems. There is a way that he works. And one of the ways that he works is to direct men. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, This is the way. Walk ye in it. Walk ye in it. And you will find rest for your soul. Are you, are you hearing what I'm saying now? It matters. God is interjecting this miracle service to just minister to someone and say you are, you are hurrying up too much. You think it's breakthrough. You are running. You will soon find out that you've been around the same jungle. For someone after this service, you need to go and calm down with your life and say, I've been running since 2005. What have I done with my life? Absolutely nothing. Oh, come Lord Jesus come and direct me give me direction are we together the race is not to the swift and the battle is not to the strong not even bread for them that are wise when a man subscribe to the direction of God your life may look controversial for a while but all that will be before you is beauty and glory then your life will become Beulah and Hephzibah, the delight of the nations, the excellency of waiting. The hardest thing for a believer to do is to wait. It's easy to rush. It's easy to do a lot of things. You will make more mistakes in your life rushing. There is power in waiting. Are we together? There is power in waiting. We're going to pray for the sick now. There's a lot to do tonight. But listen very carefully. If this message is for you, then I want you to receive it from the depth of your heart. You know, when we come like this, there are various things that the Lord is doing to several people. Not everyone is sick. Not everyone is oppressed. But a word can come and God says, be careful. There are people about to relocate now to regions. They've not sought God. They just assumed let me tell you something brothers and sisters there is no place on earth called greener pastures greener pastures is a spiritual location is where the voice of god for you is god is already helping someone how many nigerians smuggled their way through the desert trying to get to lands because they believe the only difference between your locality and any locality in the world is a greater propensity to discern, appreciate, and reward value. That's all. They have a greater propensity to discern, to appreciate, and to reward value. You can be where you are if you are truly directed by God and He will come to you and bless you. Are we together now? How many of you are trusting the Lord to touch you or touch your loved ones we're going to do it very fast because the second session of this prayer i want to settle down and really really pray seriously and just dismantle a number of things in our lives 
the grand finale will be on friday but then you are here we're going to pray for the sick now i promise that we'll do that very early so that we can finish and then attend to other issues now you may not be sick listen carefully but if you are a man of god is an opportunity to watch lord what are you doing how does this thing work what can i learn you must remain a student we're all students in the school of the spirit ever learning but in this case in that learning coming to the knowledge of the truth are we together you are trusting god for a healing miracle if you are in overflow one now hold on i want to specifically minister to barren people myself so if you have any case of barrenness whether you are in overflow one two or three please i want to minister to you myself please make your way very quickly and come stand you're trusting god for a miracle let's do it very very fast there is a lot to do very fast the worship team will lead us and just charge the atmosphere for us while we do this very fast and then at the same time to save time at the same time your your requests your prayer requests if you're here and you're you're yet to write your prayer request go ahead you can spare a few minutes to just write it now please listen listen very carefully except whoever is laying hands on you maybe ask you or prophesize to you or does whatever you just once they touch you just go back to your seat some of you i notice they touch you and you move to the other side of the line and still stand it's unbelief praise the lord or you are saying okay you don't know my problem is here and you are touching here the lord is showing me something about this woman you don't have fallopian tubes at all oh my god they've removed it Your husband got another wife. <sighs> Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? trying to embarrass this precious lady i don't know you i'm just seeing you for the first time i'm not a woman so i can't pretend to say i know what is happening here but for a woman to not have fallopian tubes all removed and now it has scattered your marriage let me ask you a question and i'm asking it boldly do you believe that god can give you new fallopian tubes Where are you coming from? Madam, let me tell you, there is a God that sits in heaven. God is not a herbalist. He's a miracle worker. Put your hand on your stomach. Look at me. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus. Father, that's all right. I decree and declare brand new fallopian tubes. The God that doeth wonders. Brand new fallopian tubes. I say it again. Brand new fallopian tubes. Madam, allow for some time and go and check yourself in the hospital. Give Jesus praise. Please help this woman. It's an elderly woman. Help her, help her social life. In the name of Jesus, Mama God is delivering you in Jesus' name. The Lord is showing me somebody. Just, just hold on. You, you will sing, you will go back to your singing. I just want to. I'm seeing the someone, the power of God is going to come upon you here. You are here right now on the line. I want to prophesy to that person. I, I just saw a flash of light, a very strong anointing. Bring the person. The Lord is rolling away the reproach in your life. 
and the Lord is telling me he's breaking the power of witchcraft over your life in the name of Jesus Christ the Bible says he has broken the gates of brass and cut the bars of iron in sunder therefore in the name of Jesus I declare to you not only will you or your brother be healed I decree and declare salvation comes to your family now in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ please sing for us that song creator of the universe creator of the universe you in the realm of the spirit and i'm seeing fibroid is that true how long seven years fibroid confirmed in the hospital that devil is going to leave you now in the name of jesus christ do you have children ma? 
I'm not married. You are not married? Oh my God. Now you be God. Almighty God.
everyone say after me in the name of jesus please shout it say in the name of jesus i prophesy over the next half of this year hear the word of the lord become for me seasons of signs and wonders lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice and begin to pray everyone make sure you are praying make sure you are praying of signs and wonders seasons of signs and wonders hallelujah say after me in the name of jesus please let's be serious say in the name of jesus every dimension of grace every dimension of the anointing required for my next level of exploits i receive it tonight in jesus name open your mouth and please pray Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen. That's the next prayer point. We prophesy everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto me. One more time. Restore unto you the years that the canker worm, the caterpillar, and even the palmer worm has taken. Say in the name of Jesus. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that everything that has left my life and destiny that should not have left. I call you back by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. In the name of Jesus. Declare that you might just be justified. Declare.
in the name of Jesus Christ say it again in the name of Jesus Christ I decree and declare over my loved ones hear the word of the Lord this is your season of rising lift your voice and prophesy over your loved ones please believe what you are saying prophesy I decree and declare in the name of Jesus this is your season of rising a new level a new dimension in the spirit says the Egyptians you see today he said you will see them for no more forever I like you in the next five minutes everything that has attempted to mock God in your life don't be afraid open your mouth and declare that under this atmosphere of the anointing of the spirit you are leaving my life and my family forever open your mouth and pray declares thou that ye might as be justified pray don't entertain unbelief I cause poverty I cause failure pray Jesus cause the victory
Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this. Was still praying? Many of us here, all you need is the ministry of helpers. Are we together now? The psalmist said, I will lift up my eyes onto the hills. Do you know why he spoke about the hills? Because God used the strategy of the hill to protect the people. Every time there was war, he would lead them up the hill. And if they got there, there would always be victory. Remember Elijah. When, it, when there was time for any contest, he would say, go up the hill. Mount Camel, Mount Zion, Mount this and that. And so he said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. But he said, no, no, no where comments my help he said my help the, the hill is only a strategy the hill is not my source and then he says my help cometh that means just like faith help to cometh faith cometh help cometh your help can come from other places by divination and witchcraft a man can attract a system of attention but he will pay for it listen Ebenezer is a revelation of the hand of God that can help a man. Blessed is a man that finds help from God. Many people are suffering because there is no help. Life can be cheap when there is help. Believe me when I tell you this. How much is the rent that the God of heaven cannot pay it? How much is it? What is the job issue with a single signature? A man's life can change but I told you every man who helps you has relatives who are in need it takes a grace and anointing to compel them to leave those who they are connected by blood and come to help you this world is too wicked for any kind of kindness to happen by default I like you to cry father in this season I'm ready to receive of the ministry of destiny help us please open your mouth and cry be serious some of you are looking at me pray pray name of Jesus was still praying this prayer session is a very major part of tonight's miracle service and I want you to pray because people are receiving results we are still going to pray over the issue of help let me tell you the truth brothers and sisters you see this ministry by the grace of God is a product of the help of God my life as a person is a product of the help of God it is vain my Bible says to wake up early in the morning and then to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow he said for he giveth his beloved sleep there are men of God that need help there are anointed people that need help there are intelligent graduates that need help there are married men and women that need help 
the holy spirit is called a helper the mercy of god can create a platform for help i've taught you this we are going to pray if you don't pray it will not happen i want you to be tired of your current level financially you all in god can step in and you are value you are packaged your value but there is no system of placing a demand you must cry to the heavens lift your voice and pray from the depth of your heart prophesy to the north prophesy to the south prophesy to the east prophesy to the west where is the raven that came and fed elijah at the church? my god arise for me as a helper Shaka Barakatos, Shaka Takata Kataka Takata, Rakata Pakato Shaka Teka 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 when the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, then we were like them that dream. And then said they among the hidden, the Lord has done great things for us. He said the Lord has done great things for us, whereof we are glad. Turn again the captivity of Zion, like the streams of the Negev. Lift your voice and labor in the place of prayer. Everything that is alive grows. I provoke growth in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are still praying over the issue of help. Listen, you are going to pray for your loved ones. I know this about Africa. If you rise alone, you will not remain there. <clears throat> In Africa, as you rise, you pray for your loved ones to rise too. If you are the only successful person out of 15 people, they will stretch you and drain you. If Joseph and his brothers were also equally successful, they will not persecute him. But he was one out of many. I saw the sun, the moon, and 11 stars bowing to one person. And the brother said, no way. And they walked him out. My Bible says that a man's enemies shall be the members of his own household. Sometimes it's not binding and casting. Lord, show them mercy too. So that as I'm rejoicing, they will rejoice and leave me in peace. Are you ready to pray? Say in the name of Jesus. I provoke divine help over my loved ones. I prophesy to them that in this season, receive the help of the Lord. Lift your voice and pray for your loved ones. Financial help, spiritual help, career help. Saza sata chova shana makata, shana makata shana dakata kala koto siyata. Help, O God. Shapa katos, shapros kete barakato shana makata. Hallelujah. Ezekiel 37. And he took me in the spirit of the Lord. And he took me to a valley. And the Bible says that valley was full of bones. And it says the bones were very dry. Bones don't dry up in one day. It means they have been there for a long time. We want to visit age long situations that have refused to go. You were born and you met that problem. You have become an adult, you have met that. No, 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 it must go. That it has stayed long does not mean it's valid. Say in the name of Jesus. Every dry bone in my life and in my family, hear the word of the Lord. I decree and declare, let life come to you now. Lift your voice and pray. Prophesy life. Your father lost his job since 1991 till today he has not gotten a job hear the word of the lord hear the word of the lord 
hear the word of the Lord. Oh ministry, hear the word of the Lord. Oh business, hear the word of the Lord. Oh destiny, hear ye the word of the Lord. The Bible declares that where the word of the king is, there is power. Hallelujah. And he said, Son of man, what seest thou? He said, Son of man, prophesy to these bones. And say, O bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. And all of that, he said, And as I prophesied, as I was commanded, there was a sound. And then a shaking. Notice that the bones began to look for themselves. Meaning they have the ability to restructure themselves. Kabala Kota Shikata. And then the bones were there, but there was no life. He says, Son of man, prophesy again to the four winds and say, O oh, wind, breathe upon this slain. And the wind came and breathed upon the bones, and there arose an exceeding great army. Listen, God is able, God is able to turn a man's captivity overnight. He said, Have you ever heard that a city gives birth in one day? But he said, as soon as Zion travails, we know that birth is nine months. But something can happen to the rod of Aaron and it can bud overnight with no root. I like you to say, Lord, let the supernatural work in my life in this season. Business at a supernatural rate. Ministry at a supernatural rate. If it is the Lord's doing, then it must be marvelous in my eyes. Lift your voice and pray. As soon as Zion travails, as soon as Zion travails, she shall put forth a son. As soon as Zion travails, pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The apostle said, I desired once again to come to you, but Satan hindered us. Your breakthrough desired to come to you, but Satan hindered it. Your helpers desired to come to you. Have you seen a situation, Jimmy, where someone is about to bless you but before you reach your helper your enemy got there before you and told them something that turned their minds against you he said the rod of the wicked will not fall upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity please i'd like you to be angry in your spirit and pray we are not here to waste time Brothers and sisters, this is how victory is legislated and established in the kingdom. Are we together? It says, do not be ignorant of the devices, the methodologies from the word stratomai, the methodology of Satan. There are methods. It said, do not let your good be evil spoken of. Have you seen that that's a method? That I call you and Satan makes me interpret it as sarcasm. I just call you to say how are you and he says so you are mocking me it's, it's important that your good is interpreted as good Jesus went to a city and they didn't receive him do you think they just didn't please carry your healing rubbish and go how many men of God were sent by God to families to help them but the devil changed their perception over that grace say no 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 anything pastor they are all riffraffs they are beggars they are liars they are hungry people they just want my money it's a strategy someone wants to teach you something and help you say no this this guy don't no 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 I desired once again to come to you but Satan hindered us how many people today would have been helped by God are we together now you heard that they are applying jobs 
but the devil made you feel that just because there are people scamming people everywhere the job that was your own was a scam too and you sat down and said no way and today you are still employed we need to cry to god to help us know what is of god and what is not of god because many times they look the same is the spirit of discernment that will help you five people may be cheating you but the sixth person may be genuine and you can't you join anybody that comes and then you remain poor and broke forever there are families today you never talk about anything good sir they gave us a prayer no 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 that's how that useless prophet came and prophesied and collected my hundred thousand don't bring any man of god here whereas the person who god was sending was like elijah to the widow of zarephath the fact that there is evil does not mean the grace of god is insufficient please listen to me there are people today who have been ordained to be blessed to listen but satan has clouded their minds so that they are cynical about everything that is god are we together i remember a few years ago i went to a house to pray for them i was invited and i got to the house i usually don't go to people's houses to pray for them and i went to the house and uh, um i just saw the man the, the owner of the house the sarcasm and the look that he was looking at me here they come these hungry young men again i tried to greet him i even held wine for them so that there's no suspicion and that man from what i saw didn't have up to two months to live and i sat down i was talking with the family and the man was just looking you know you know all this do do and leave my house until by the mercies of god god began to speak to him at the end of it it was him that escorted me out say ah, ah you are you are you know my friend collected my i said look at this man would have missed his miracle brothers and sisters some of our loved ones you know what i'm saying are like that their blessings kept passing for the last 10 years they organize a program near your house and they say no 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 once it is not you it is not god it's an error what of business opportunities just because people have been scammed here just because something came out and something happened there anything business god forbid don't even mention anything oh sorry yes no 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 don't talk to me and then you remain poor and broke and say god what is wrong he told joshua be strong and of good courage in life it takes audacity to know when your opportunity comes 28 of genesis god came to jacob and jacob out of his fear and cynicism was not ready for that visitation the next verses would lead him to the house of laban where he learned by his pain by chapter 32 he was ready the bible says when god came again he held him he said whether you are not god i will shall hold you it's in your holding i will find out i won't let you go till you bless me he said what is your name he said jacob he said thou shalt no more be called jacob but israel for as a prince you have power with god and you have prevailed and he touched his tie and blessed him and the bible says then the son arose and he called the name of the place peniel for he had met with god face to face i have seen god face to face and my life arose and the bible says then the son arose because it is the breaking of the day that comes with joy for as long as it is night weeping endures are we together i want us to maximize these meetings let's not just come before god and fulfill the ritual and then share the grace and go back it's time for us to move the bible says how forcible are right words you are hearing something that is waking you up and challenging you are we together i know i took i think i took i don't know if it was a whole month or so to pray for destiny help us Hey, Jimmy, your life is stranded until a helper comes. I know this. There was a man who was so crippled he could not walk. And Jesus came to town. He heard about it but could not get there. But certain people came. Your helpers will insist till you are blessed. Listen. A helper is not a well-wisher. A well-wisher is just a sociological being with a sense of empathy. A helper is sent and ordained. His ministry continues till you rise. 
some men came to david in a cave called adulam and they vowed that we must make you king you are seeing a man who is already weak no result ah, when your helpers come to you it will look like a charm there will be no reason for them to remain they will call you have you gotten the job sir no sir ah after okay i'm going to abuja for you and you start saying i hope there's no string attached no 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 i only saw myself helping you in a dream Are we together every destiny helper has those in need please hear me graduates hear me oh every space for a job has hundreds of thousands of others connected but when god decides to help you he said jacob have i loved jacob have i loved hallelujah jacob have i loved God changes the rules as if it's unfair to you. Abba, there is such a dimension. The helper of Israel. When you labor and labor and labor and labor, you'll be lying to say you are giving God glory. There are many testimonies that are just a product of carnality. The way you suffered for that miracle is why you cannot give it when God places a demand. Greed has an explanation when you when you acquire by labor and suffering and hardship you can't give but if it's freely you received it freely you will give are we together your destiny is one helper away by the privilege of god's grace i've been privileged to be a destiny helper to many people and overnight they got jobs without interview just because i happen to know someone in a position of influence and i say sir please there is someone can you help me i say apostle if it's you that's it the same way someone too has spoken it's the help of god we rise by his help your business will open up by his help everything you have is needed on earth but it takes God to connect you to a man who is unashamed about his need for your grace. It is the help of God that brought us here, brothers and sisters. The help of God. There are pastors that need the help of God. You can blow balloon and put it around. You can do everything and find out that the people come and say, it's cold. Don't we take tea in this church and be sarcastic towards you? Yet somebody called by God to help you will stand in the rain and say, I'm sent and I'm not going anywhere. When last did you receive help in your life? When last did you receive help? Please hear what I'm telling you. Do you know if you do things alone and by yourself, you are not blessed? Even if you succeed in doing it. Help. Help. That God arises for a man and say young men establish within 10 years but i have chosen promise that in one month i will do i will walk a walk in your life that if it were told you you would not believe hallelujah a few weeks ago someone called me he was he was he's planning on getting married and he went and collected the list just two or three weeks ago and the list was quite voluminous and it challenged him and he called me that he's trying to seek advice whether it's the will of god or not i told him i said no that that is a foolish that is a foolish concern are you seeing the, you labored with a lady to go and meet her parents just because of the enormity of the list you are now seeking whether it's the will of god going behind what is there to ask whether it's the will of god or not listen I know that it looks like it's just a joke but it's a serious issue how many people have gotten high blood pressure because there is no help no help ask the medical doctors they will tell you you buy a car alone you look for food alone you walk alone you seek counsel by yourself you advise yourself no helper you see people moving like Cain all around nobody to help nobody to advise you their pastor pastor bolaji do you know sometimes pastor bolaji would call me 
and say man of god how is everything happening i hope here in the north there's nothing you know this and that you're fine everything and i say oh pastor you're a busy man why do you have to do this and he said we need to encourage ourselves and i said my god help 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 are you ready for god to really help you our message is by the grace of god are being spread on eagle's wings is by the spirit but is through the help of men 70 percent of the invitations where i go to somebody stands maybe in a church council to say bring this man of god i know see all these people from the north no 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 i know this one who knows you enough to speak for you at the gates because there are times you are not permitted to enter the chambers where your value is needed but it will take mordecai uh, mordecai mordecai is outside but mordecai needs to find favor with the king but it will take god using someone inside joseph is in the prison but destined for the throne a wine presser needs to split your case before the king one more time father listen listen whoever must rise up and be an instrument to shift me to the next level please send them to send them my way i want i i cry that you pray with all your heart men can be helped of god my help cometh from the lord they were many widows in zarafat they all needed help but to none was elijah sent except a widow in zarafat how about the rest there were many widows also needing help but god chooses to send a prophet to just one of them hallelujah the last prayer point and then we'll pray here the bible says according as his divine power please listen hath given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness to life i will never be the man of god who will teach you to live a defeated life at the expense of your spiritual growth no no there are matters that pertain to life there are matters that pertain to godliness his divine power covers them all so i can excel in the matters that pertain unto godliness and still excel in the matters that pertain unto life i should not serve god and tell my children to go and beg a neighbor for food he says since i was young now i am old i have not seen the righteous forsaken nor his seed beg for bread you know many believers in their carnality and the depravity of wisdom they think that when you begin to focus about the matters of life it's a sign that you are becoming less spiritual i can tell you from experience that the pain that comes from the issues of life can make you ungodly are we together the ladies that go into prostitution do they go into prostitution with poor men the young men that join occults all these cult groups vibrant young people and the next thing you see they are in a devilish cult somewhere it's easy for us to criticize them but you will be surprised that it's from that occult they are feeding their families compassion is the ability to be touched with the feelings of people's infirmity as a man of god i must be compassionate enough about your situation thank god for your spiritual life but i want you to do well that's what success means are we together i have food in my house right now but do you have food only a wicked man of god will enjoy and rise at the expense of the rising of others a true shepherd lays down his life doesn't climb on the ship some of you sow into my life i must teach you how others will also sow into your life it can't be all about me you are bringing seeds you are blessing me and i'm seeing the benefit of it to my spiritual life but how about you i came with a passion tonight if one person rises in a ministry alone is that a blessing no he called many sons to glory not a few 
there are many of you with business ideas there are many of you with ministries there are many of you desperately waiting for a job and men are beginning to say where is your god you are no longer young you have been praying and fasting and doing all of this if you cannot bring fruit that befit your work with god we will stop you from coming for koinonia or we will stop you from doing this and god wants to arise and prove himself mighty why won't you pray well when you eat well why won't you pray well when you the receipt of your children's school fees is being paid for I have the privilege by the mercies of God to support many families here and sometimes I, my eyes are full of tears after a powerful meeting and I see someone standing and say sir my children once upon a time two dear ladies here for five years a Jimmy just to buy jam form beautiful wonderful godly ladies and that's exactly what Satan wants after the prayer after falling under the anointing you get up and your needs remain and you sit in the night and say look can't i do something the rod of the wicked shall not rest upon the lot of the righteous lest they dip their hands in iniquity many of us have dipped our hands in iniquity simply because of the hunger that is in your belly was it not hunger that took israel to egypt talk to me was it prosperity that took them there no there was hunger in the land and israel had to go to egypt to look for food they went to Egypt and stayed until they became slaves. When they began to say it's time for our exodus, Pharaoh looked at them and said, "Uh huh, you are beginning to find some level of convenience. Don't give them straw. It's because you are giving them straw that they have the time to even call upon the name of the Lord. Leave them to find straw by themselves. And they say, Moses, don't go to Pharaoh again every time you want to rise it's like a it's like a thermometer the devil tries to make sure that there is a harsh climate economically and otherwise i stand to tell you you can be of influence you can be prosperous and you can be spiritual jesus grew in wisdom in stature in favor with god and with men the lamb's wife is a balanced woman he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city that was equal in length equal in breadth equal in depth any doctrine that does not preach that balance is not presenting the lamb's wife you are showing something else the lamb's wife is a balanced city the church of god must arise and help believers to do well in life this you see a lot of people prayer warriors torn trouser torn destiny you just see them move around you now go to say i want to marry you and the girl's father says, if i ever see you near the corridor of my house you say but i praise i say so what we keep mocking the name of the lord there are many people do you know that the times that i've had counseling people a major reason why people backslide and leave god is that they get to a level in life now where the matters of life stand glaring before them and they are surprised that as spiritual as they are now the church started as a prayer meeting and you were doing well healing the sick now suddenly you have gotten to a size where you need rent and you just realize that per use is hundred thousand your prayer life just starts going down slowly all of a sudden you find out that your wife is pregnant and they say just bring something just to test and make sure she's fine say i don't have anything say well the god that we serve is a victorious god are we together many of you have the heart to support the kingdom but the means is not there listen to me listen to me for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave in life i give you a guarantee for as long as you are not empowered you will remain a slave the anointing comes upon you but alongside the anointing is capacity for influence it took a man of influence called joseph of arimathea to get jesus from the cross it was not a prayer warrior that brought jesus from the cross a prayer warrior supervised his birth but a wealthy man supervised his resurrection we're a ministry of prayer we're a ministry that fasts we're a ministry of the word but we must be a ministry with results that are all around 
and abraham was old and well stricken in age and the lord had blessed him in all things not some things the last prayer point like naaman you may be the captain of a great army the bible says he conquered valiantly but he was crippled the one or two areas in your life i'm giving you a personal time of supplication now one or two areas in your life that must balance this equation to present christ well let's cry together and say god you have done well in this area and i thank you but lord i cry that in this area may your glory be represented in my life please lift your voice and pray please pray in my life keep praying be glorified be glorified cry to the lord in my life be glorified be glorified you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor i just want to say thank you lord you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor thank you pray i just want to say thank you so many Stretch your hands over the prayer requests and let's begin to pray. This is a representation of our pain. It's a representation of our needs. Just cry to the Lord. from the dead the Lord every request here before you upon this altar I ask my God and my King the one who heareth them that call upon you arise in your majesty and turn these requests into testimonies it is unto you that answers prayer that we have come and Lord in the name that is above all names we provoke your integrity over these issues 
lord there are issues here that only god can solve some of the issues represented here are life and death issues we will search for you and we will find you we will find you with all our hearts we will lift our hands to you in worship and we will worship with all my heart lord i will search for you and i will find you i will find you with all my heart and i will lift my voice to you in worship i will worship you are god from beginning to the end there's no place for argument you are god all by yourself over this request in the name of the Lord God of heaven like he has done it before may every request here before God be turned now into supernatural testimonies may God turn every situation here to supernatural testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ just give me two three minutes and we're done I want to speak over your life now when you hold my hands everything becomes possible when you hold my hands everything in your life i cry to the god of heaven to roll it away like smoke before the wind in the name of jesus christ i pray for every man of god represented here fresh fire upon your altar fresh fire upon your altar in the name of jesus christ every issue of concern in your career in your business and in your life i send the word of god like a messenger to reproduce the garden of eden over your issue in the name of jesus christ when a man's ways pleases the lord he maketh even his enemy to be at peace with him i declare whoever must be at peace must be at peace with you to rise i command peace to happen between you master we have toiled all night he said nevertheless at thy word i want to prophesy to you where you failed before go back again with an anointing go back
up with the grace that makes men succeed in the name of Jesus Christ and the Lord visited Sarah and she called the name of her son Isaac he said all those who hear about this will laugh with me I introduce you to a new season of laughter 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 turn again our captivities like the streams of the negative I pray for you it will be like a dream of the night the way God will turn your life around anyone here under the plague of death any family represented here that the devil has vowed that they will not see the end of the year together in joy i decree oh death where is thy sting and oh grave where is thy victory i command death to pass from over you in the name of jesus he said let the people praise me and then the earth shall yield every ground can yield i command your ground to produce for you Amen. daniel chapter 2 and when you read from verse 28 downwards he said but there is a god that revealed secrets i pray for you the secret the mystery that you need to hold on to in this season that will shift you to a new level the kingdom truth the revelation of the spirit because the light shines in darkness and the darkness comprehended it not the truth you need to lay your hands upon may my God open your eyes to see it and the Bible says that you shall be called all nations shall call you blessed and you shall be called a delightsome land it's called Beulah and Hephzibah a land that is desirable and isaac looked at his sons and said the smell of my son is like the field that the lord has blessed i decree and declare may the fragrance of heaven that calls for favor to men may it come upon your life now in the name of jesus christ it says thou causes men to ride over our heads we walk through fire and through water but thou brought us into a wealthy place i decree and declare help even in the area of finances may it arise for you i say it again help even in the area of finances may it arise for you finally i pray for every family represented here and that includes those connecting with us online it doesn't matter what part of the world you are following from in the name that is above all names the lord has made a, declared, a declaration that this is our year of signs a sign and a wonder is a miracle with a message on it therefore i decree and declare may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders i say it again may your life from tonight become an epistle of signs and wonders in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus praise thank you Jesus hallelujah Paradventure, adventure you are here in this place tonight everyone please listen please no moving around let's honor the name of the Lord you are here you have seen what the Lord has done you've heard me teach and the Holy Spirit began to convict you to tell you that the time had come for you to make Jesus Lord of your life and to take him seriously I want to give you that opportunity right now there are people here saying apostle I've heard about God I've been around the things of God I've been around church I have a Christian name my father may even be a man of God my mother is an intercessor but I I declare my need for God tonight and then there are others here who are saying apostle I have given my life to Christ but at one point or the other I just found my life going haywire and I'm saying I need Jesus if you belong to any of these categories I like you to make a bold step overflow one overflow two the main auditorium you can walk and come out here and then overflow three you can go 
in front of your projector stand if you are there please make your way quickly let's honor them as they come the holy spirit is convicting someone don't wait for someone to come be the first god bless you koinonia you are appreciating them in the name of jesus christ there has to be someone making a decision for jesus god bless you god bless you keep clapping as they come win that war tonight win that war god bless you as you come it says he that cometh to him he will in no wise cast away make your way make your way to this front god bless you keep coming we have one minute for you if you're coming from outside please double up your steps very quickly very quickly say call for total surrender lord you gave me your life i'm giving you mine right now are there people still coming make your way very quickly apostle i'm not sure if i'm born again or not i've been around the things of god but i'm not exactly sure join them join them quickly when the titanic sank there were only two names those who were lost and those who were saved no in-betweens make your way quickly hallelujah i salute every one of you if you are joining them please join them very quickly overflow three you can move to the front of your projector those online giving their hearts to jesus just follow and pray along with us by faith in the name of jesus now i want you to lift your right hand sincerely you are not reciting a poem you are speaking to the lord and he's here listening to you say after me lord jesus say it again say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for me i believe that you were raised up for my justification tonight i hand over my life to you and i receive your life in return i declare that the power of sin the power of the flesh the power of satan is broken over my life i declare that i'm a child of god i am saved the grace to walk in victory to walk in liberty is mine now in jesus name keep your hands lifted jesus i present to you the ones you died for we thank you for bringing these ones out no man can come to the father except you draw them lord jesus i pray that the grace that keeps men in this kingdom let it be supplied your people right now in the name of jesus christ i declare over your life and i decree that you are going forward ever and backward never in the name of jesus christ every challenge you came here with as a result of this new life let new victories come for you in jesus name i pray a big congratulations to you thank you so much now i want you to follow someone waving his hands there's a gentleman waving his hands there can i see who is waving his hands now please very quickly i'd like you to follow him all of you in concert just follow the gentleman there'll be a group of people to just meet with you very quickly and very briefly let's honor them hallelujah